Hey everyone, Mike here. So you know how people always come up to you on the street and ask what books by Carl Sagan they should read? Happens to me like all the time. <laughs> well in this video, I got three books that Carl Sagan wrote that I think everyone should read. The first Carl Sagan book that I think everyone should read is this, A Pale Blue Dot. Written in 1994, Pale Blue Dot a Vision of the Human Future in Space is an analysis of the role that space will play in humanity's future. A kind of sequel to Sagan's Cosmos book, this book was inspired by the famous 1990 pale blue dot photograph taken by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. A famous quote about that picture comes from this book. Look at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. So this book is an analysis of the importance of human exploration of space, which includes advancement of technology and the intrinsic value of exploration and discovery. However, Sagan ultimately argues in this book that the single greatest reason to explore space is for the survival of our species. This is a beautifully written book, and I definitely recommend everyone read it. The second Carl Sagan book that I think everyone should read in their lifetime is this, The Demon Haunted World. Written in 1995, The Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark, is about the scientific method and encourages people to learn both critical and skeptical thinking skills. Sagan explains in this book that science is not only a body of knowledge, but is also a way of thinking. This book also gives a warning to our society about what could happen to it if we continue on our current path. A famous quote from this book shows this best. I have a foreboding of an America in my children's or my grandchildren's time, when the United States is a service and information economy, when nearly all the key manufacturing industries have slipped away to other countries, when awesome technological powers are in the hands of a very few, and no one representing the public interest can even grasp the issues, when the people have lost their ability to set their own agendas or knowledgeably question those in authority, when clutching our crystals and nervously consulting our horoscopes, our critical faculties in decline, unable to distinguish between what feels good and what's true, we slide, almost without noticing, back into superstition and darkness. The dumbing down of America is most evident in the slow decay of content in the enormously influential media. The 30-second sound bites, now down to 10 seconds or less, lowest common denominator programming, credulous presentations on pseudoscience and superstition, but especially a kind of celebration of ignorance. So again, this book was written in 1995. That's way before smartphones existed, way before social media existed. That was even before Google existed. So this is definitely, truly a fascinating read, and I think everyone should check it out. And then the third Carl Sagan book that I think everyone should read in their lifetime is this, Contact. So unlike the other two books that I listed, which are nonfiction, Contact is actually a science fiction story. And I know you might be thinking like, oh, okay, science fiction. Well, Carl Sagan has so many other nonfiction books, I don't think this one would be too important. Well, I would actually argue that I think it's just as important to read this book as it is to read any of other Carl Sagan's books. And the reason I think this is that, in my opinion, I think there are certain themes that are easier to explore in science fiction than in nonfiction. The idea of this book is that we're not alone in the universe, and what could or will happen if we come in contact with another species. Now, I don't want to give away too much in the way of the story about this book, but what I will say about this is that, in my opinion, it's able to merge scientific knowledge with theories in science fiction with incredible grace. And you could also watch the movie, which I think is alright, but I definitely recommend you read this book. So yeah, those are the three books written by Carl Sagan that I think everyone should read in their lifetime. 
Do you think there are any other books that Carl Sagan wrote that people should read? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.